Hey everybody, this is Dean from Motion Media, and uh, today we're going to look at uh, converting a 3D model uh, from Turbo Squid quickly to uh, be compatible with V-Ray, both in uh, cameras, shaders, and uh, lights. Uh, so I had a project that had a very quick turnaround. Uh, got it on a Friday. Rendered files were due on a Monday so there was no time to model anything so I had to buy a 3D model off of Turbo Squid, which is here which was already rigged and as is a lot of times the case it says there's a V-Ray version however the V-Ray version is just something where they swap the render the lights cameras and materials are all actually max materials lights and cameras so here's an example of what that fly looks like rendered with um, V-Ray but using max lights and cameras and materials here is after the conversion. Uh, this is using all V-Ray lights, cameras, and shaders. Uh, important to point out, this took about a minute and 52 seconds, the max one. The V-Ray one, despite having uh, four times as many lights, only took a minute 30 to render, so that's significantly faster, and that is because we're using um, all of those V-Ray components. And lastly, this is for a TV commercial, this is what the final comp looked like, and um, you can see some changes were made, not only to the environment, um, but to the shaders, and what have you. Alright, so let's take a look at that process really quick. So, as I mentioned, this is the file that literally came off Turbo Squid. You can see we have <coughs> a max camera, one max light, and he's got some reflectors here. And then if we look in the material letter, editor, we'll see that all of his shaders are the standard max materials except for one here. Okay, so the other thing is um, his gamma control is not set to the way I like things. Alright, so first what we're going to do is we're going to go into our renderer. And as I said, he's got V-Ray already in here. Uh, but this is not the setup that I use. You can see this is not the same, uh, nor is any of this. So um, I have a preset already set up. This is a quick way to load your any settings for anything. You can see max scan line, mental ray. Here's my V-Ray start, and it's going to basically um, pump in all of the settings that I like to start with when I start a production. Okay. In addition to that, <coughs> I have V-Ray tuned up to Gamma 2.2. I need to make sure the matching is done inside Max. Uh, so again, we just go into the Gamma settings and turn it on. Hit OK. And hit OK out of here. Now, the last step, well, not the last step, but the almost last step, is to convert all these materials. <coughs> you can definitely do it one by one, but there's a nice little shortcut. If you right-click in any viewport, you can go down to V-Ray Scene Converter and there's a script that will convert all the materials that are standard into V-Ray. I'm going to turn on uh, Trace Reflections and now you can see down here, it did it really quickly, but it goes through and converts all of those materials now are in fact V-Ray. And it's already turned on Reflection. Um, now for the final I did go through and make tweaks to these, however, that's a huge time saver that you can just right click and it will convert all of those materials. So then just a couple more clicks here, we're going to go create a V-Ray camera. <coughs> so I create the V-Ray camera in the top viewport, then I go to my original camera, change it to a perspective mode. With the V-Ray camera selected, Control c will match that V-Ray camera to the other camera's perspective, and we'll switch to that V camera, V ray camera. You can see our focal length is way too wide, so I'm going to zoom it back in. Be roughly as close as the other one. I'm going to turn off vignetting and set it to neutral. And then lastly, I'm going to create one V ray light just for the moment. Uh, in the top viewport, and then I'm going to align it to the spotlight that's in the scene and also align its orientation. And then lastly, I can just delete that light 
and I can delete the max camera. And now we've uh, we've completely converted this scene, and um, this uh, again minus a few tweaks that I did. Uh, which took another 15-20 minutes, um, I basically got a, a much more photorealistic file that renders uh, significantly faster than the original. Hope this was helpful, and we will see you again soon.